you know 4-H has many great activities and at least some of them are horse related and we're going to learn about them from Randy Parton here and the horse is Rebel. Wow, what a nice horse Randy. Thank you. That's really good. Now your club is Bits and Bridles, right? Yeah. Good. And you've been uh, uh, working with horses for a good while. Um, I started horseback riding around five years ago. Wow. Um, yeah. Five or six. Yeah. But I've always been interested in horses when I was really young. I saw one, I was like, oh my gosh, I want one. And they immediately, <laughs> well, my parents immediately knew I was going to be the expensive child. <laughs> now, I have to tell you, I've only been on a horse once or twice, twice, I think, in my whole lifetime. Is there a lot to take care of? I mean, you have to spend a lot of time? Yeah, um, we go out to the barn six days a week just to ride. We yeah. have to keep his muscle together um, to keep his brain working, to do both showmanship and riding, showmanship's on the floor. Mm -hmm because um, if not, he gets out of control. <laughs> Looks like he can really push you around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you went to the Southern Regional Championships, and where was that held? Um, that was up in Georgia. Yeah, now this is a 4-H related program? Yes, yeah. it's, um, so 4-H groups and like other uh, different states? clubs, different states from around the Southern area. Yeah all come down to the regionals competition um, to basically com compete against each state, see which riders are a little bit more fit or mm -hmm. really good at riding. You can see your competition and then like what you need to work on. Yeah, now, uh, so this was held in Georgia. Now, when you take the horse across the line, do you have to have special permission or something? Um, you have to have a Coggins that it says that you don't have any diseases, so your horse isn't going to be bringing something that's going to hurt other mm -hmm. livestock animals across the border. Were you nervous and excited? Um, I, I was a little bit of both. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's really energetic, so I was kind of worried about how that would end up in the end, but it showed out that the show in general was I just thought about how it should be fun, and then my nerves kind of went away. Yeah. So, so how'd you do at the show? Um, I got first year we got a seventh and a tenth. A tenth was based just on him and how he looks, and then our seventh was equitation, and that was what me and him looked together. So we were jumping around a course, and we did a pattern together. And then our second year, I can't remember what we placed in. I believe we placed in one, but we didn't do as well but I don't really, it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter. You fun. had fun, you enjoyed yeah. it. And, and the, does Rebel mind being traveling, traveling like that and with he the other horses? He doesn't seem to. He likes it more when there's other horses with him because mm -hmm. who doesn't like to have a companion when riding? Mm -hmm. But he hasn't had any troubles in the past before. Yeah. And so how many more years happy. will you keep doing these things? Um, I have one more year for 4-H as a whole and then this year and then I'm going to college and I can't be in for 4-H anymore but I'm trying to be riding in college, in college and everything. Very good. Randy, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So, so now you know there's a great horse activity waiting for you. All you have to do is call the extension office and they can tell you how to get involved and you could get involved with somebody like, like Rebel here. That'd be kind of <laughs> neat, huh?